If you're anything like me, you're not a huge fan of pork chops because they always end up being dry, but not now. I've created a sous vide pork chop recipe and they are by far the best pork chops I've ever had. And if you're wondering what the heck is a sous vide, don't worry, I'll cover that too. Okay, so first off, this is a sous vide. I have the Anova sous vide and I'll link to it below. And pretty much what it is, it's a precision cooker and it circulates the water and it keeps meat at a constant temperature. So you can never overcook it. And meat that typically comes out dry, like pork chops and chicken, comes out super good in the sous vide. And then when you're cooking beef and things that you prefer to have more medium rare, it's perfectly medium rare from edge to edge, whereas usually the red is just in the middle. With the sous vide, it's perfect all the way through. And my next favorite thing about the sous vide is that you can throw frozen meat in. And so today I was out in the garden all day long. I had nothing planned for dinner and just as I was about to call my husband to tell him to pick up dinner on his way home because I had no idea what to thaw out and cook, I remembered I had already prepared pork chops, put them in a vacuum seal bag, and they are ready for the sous vide. And the greatest thing is I don't have to worry about thawing them out. I'm just gonna throw them in the pot of water. And so I will show you exactly how to do that. Okay, so being that I already have my pork chops ready and they're already in the vacuum seal bag, I'm just going to tell you how I did it. So as I got my pork chops home from the store, I seasoned them. And my favorite seasoning right now to use is this Kentucky Steak Rub. And it's Sportsman's Warehouse brand. And it's really, really good on pork. So I use that and garlic salt and I seasoned both sides of the pork chops. And then I put them in a vacuum seal bag and vacuum sealed them shut. So now they just look like this in a vacuum seal bag. Okay, and the next step is to fill a large stock pot with water and then set your sous vide at 140 degrees. Okay, so now all I did was I set the sous vide at 140 degrees and I dropped in the frozen pork chops and now I'm gonna let them cook for probably about three hours. So you want, if you're throwing in frozen pork chops, you wanna give about an extra hour just for them to thaw out. And then the next hour will be for cooking. But I prefer to cook them about two hours in the sous vide. And, but anywhere after one hour, they're fully cooked. But just remember if they're frozen, give them an extra hour for the thawing out part. And now while they're cooking, I'm gonna head back out into the garden, finish up a few things. But I will come back and show you how I finish these off in the cast iron frying pan and top them with a homemade apricot habanero jam that I make that really makes them delicious. All right, so now we're back and it's time to finish off the pork chops in the cast iron pan. The first thing you need to do is just remove them from the vacuum seal bag and put them on a paper towel and pat them dry. Then pour some olive oil into a cast iron pan on about medium to high heat. And then once the oil is hot, add in your pork chops. And then just let them get brown for about two to three minutes on each side. And then once they're done cooking, we'll put the habanero apricot jam on top. Okay, and for about the last minute, I'm gonna turn the heat off and then I'm gonna add the apricot habanero jam on top, which if you look above, you could click to go over to that recipe or I will also link to it in the bottom. And then after you add the jam on top, you are good to go. If you don't wanna add the jam, it is optional, but it is super good, so I suggest that you try it out. You can find the recipe below or above, and I hope you enjoyed this recipe, and I will see you in the next video.